and welcome to another episode of The Clever Dev. Today we're going to take the Material UI basic table example from the docs, and we're simply going to add a sticky column, or you may have heard of it as a pinned column or a frozen column. We're going to take this initial column here and make it sticky so that if we scroll horizontally to the right, then this column is, is stuck to the left side, and we get to see those um, title cells wherever we're scrolled to. So as usual, there are there is links to additional code and to uh, better visuals of this, screenshots and so on, in the video description. So please expand that and um, take a look at those additional resources. With that said, what we're going to do is I'm going to just edit this in code sandbox, so I've already forked it, and we want to set a sticky cell here in this, uh, this is in the table head, this first cell is in the table head, and we also want to make all these table body, uh, this first column of table body cells sticky. So let's take a look at exactly where we should do that. Here we are in the table head component, so we want to take this first table cell, and we want to make sure that that gets that uh, sticky styling. So we'll actually be able to accomplish sticky styling in just three lines of code. So let's take a look at what those are. We'll do this as inline styling just for uh, just to make it easy to understand with the video. So we'll start with this position sticky and left zero. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that in the table cell down here in the table body. Uh, this first table cell. So here we go right here. And code sandbox auto formatted that for us. So let's take a look at what happens right now. Let's shrink our table a little bit. Okay, so we seem to have the desired effect, but as you can see, uh, we're, we've got something wrong with our first column. We actually, it's transparent right now. We actually don't want it to be transparent because as you can see, we're seeing the text, basically the other cells, um, kind of behind that first cell. So let's add one more styling property here. Simple background color white. Once again, it's auto formatted our code for us. Now let's see how we're looking. Okay, that's much better. You see how the second column, the third column seem to slide under that first column. And you may want to add a border on this first cell or something along those lines so that it uh, just has a little more definition. But that's all it takes to add uh, this sticky column. So in Material UI, I believe at the time of recording this video, their enterprise version does in fact have a sticky column as a prop. However, their free version does not. So all it takes is this, and you could easily um, bundle this up as um, just a custom component that's a, a sticky table that's already got a sticky, or, uh, a Material UI table that's already got a sticky column for that first column. That'd be pretty straightforward to do. So I appreciate you watching the video. As always, um, expand the video description to, to get more resources. And um, have a wonderful day.